Hi, I'm Pastor John from Millerville Community Church. This is daily devotion number 192. Today's meditation is taken from the second letter to the to Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and self-discipline. Praise the Lord. How much time do we waste in our life worrying about things? Have you ever been worrying? Do you have great worries and anxieties in your life? How many times do you not get sleep and you're anxious and wondering what will happen next about things you cannot control? And that worry begins to take over your life. I want you to remember this, that worry is not an emotion, but a mental obsession. Worry is not an emotion, but a mental obsession. It's fear in another disguise, and it squeezes out the realm of faith in our life. Worry is trying to take back what is in God's control and trying to figure out how we could put it under our control. One of the first steps we learn is that we are not God, and that there are things, many things, beyond our control. And rather than worrying about them, we're going to have to trust God. And then we have to believe he exists. We have to believe that he loves us. And then he has the power to bring change. Without that, our recovery is useless. We will succumb to worry and anxiety, and it'll obsess our life. And with that obsession, there will be a loss of confidence, loss of relationships, And we will start to strangle every good thing in our life with our obsessions. We need to be free of those hurts, habits, and hang-ups by not worrying. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but of power, of love, and self-discipline. Where we choose to have faith in God. So whatever it is that you're facing today, surrender it to the Lord. Stop worrying about it. Give it to God. Let him take care of it. Here's our prayer today. Dear Lord, you are the only one who controls the affairs of this life. Help me as I work to cast off mental obsessions and take on your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us continue to pray. Lord, those things that are weighing down my brothers and sisters right now this day, Lord, I, I pray for them that they might learn to let go and surrender it to you. They couldn't do anything about those things anyways, about those relationships and those situations. They're beyond their control anyways. I pray, Lord, that they would just let you be God of those things and trust you and that we would focus on what we can do today, not yesterday and not tomorrow, but this day, this day that you have given us that we will choose to rejoice and to be glad in the day we have, for tomorrow is not known to us. So, Lord, as we surrender the unknown into the hands of the one we know, we pray that you would eliminate our anxieties and our fears and our obsession with control, that we would yield it, and in its place you would become Lord, Savior, and master of our world, of our thoughts, and of our lives today in what we do and say, full of speaking of our faith and our confidence in the God who loves us. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. I'm so glad you are part of Daily Devotion, and you can keep coming back. We'll be looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. I hope you're encouraging someone else to join us and be a part of this journey together. One of the ways we journal our our journey and what God is doing in his life is we write that down daily. And I'd encourage you to use this as well for that. So if you'd take a moment and leave a comment below and let us know what is God doing in your life today. That'd be encouragement to us and an encouragement to others. This has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too.